Hi everyone, let's get right into the reading. So this is going to be on the past person, I can feel it. There's, um, you guys are telepathically connecting, you're, you're both feeling, I'm feeling like mutual pain here basically, and we'll get the cards to see if the cards confirm that and what they want to say about that. What's going on here? Yeah, someone feels like you're transforming your life and they're being left out in the cold and that it would be a battle to get you back. So it would be hard work. So then a pentacles is someone it's it's like this person's looking at their crops. They like they know it's it's something that they would have to really work for. They would have to come in with a knight of wands energy. And the knight of wands can be like a fuck boy or fuck girl. But I'm I'm not seeing it in this context. Because the knight of wands is also someone that takes action. Someone that's very passionate. So they would have to come in with a romantic offer. They would have to come in with... They have to really come in quick and make that offer to you. To get you back. Because they see you. They're, you're going through a glow up. You're going through a transformation. Eight of wands... I feel like some of them are going to move forward and actually send you a message. Let's tell me more about this. The Hierophant. Six of Pentacles. Why the Six of Pentacles, though? Oh, some of them are going to come forward in... Because the Hierophant can be marriage, marriage tradition, but it can also be control issues. And in this context, I think that's what it is. It's like breadcrumbing here. Like they want to send you a message, but it's almost like they're going to try to breadcrumb you into just like they, they see that you're glowing up. They see that you're transforming. They see that you're shifting. You're going out. You're living your best life. You're getting into alignment. You're not letting anything hold you back. And so there's almost this like urgency where they're like, oh, shit, I have to do something now or it's going to be, you know tomorrow it's going to be too late the next next month it's going to be too late like it's it's like i have to do something now with the high priestess though you're going to see right through this if they're breadcrumbing you you're going to see through it you're intuitive king of cups two of wands queen of wands the emperor three of swords Yeah, this person knows that, male or female, this person knows that you're going to, you're either the king of cups or you're the queen of wands, but this person knows that you're going to end up with like an emperor or empress type and they're going to be left heartbroken if they wait too long. Because it's like they're planning, they're strategizing how to come forward, how to talk to you. Because they know that you're in your power, you're very attractive right now, you're manifesting what you want, you're glowing up, you're not in the same mentality that you used to be in. You're in this energy of like just man, like making the world your oyster, just living your best life, like having fun, going out there, um, really staying strong. Even if you are sad, it's like you're really you're still motivated to to pursue your dreams. It's like you're in this energy of I'm not going to let my life pass me by. And you're manifesting somebody, an emperor or an empress. And this person kind of knows they're either going to be this for you or somebody else's. And right now it's like they're strategizing how to come forward, but they kind of know. It's like I see like this kind of a back and forth energy, like this tension because they're like strategizing and trying to find loopholes and think about how they can message you without having to give a full commitment or how they can, you know, whatever. And it's not going to work. They're they're aware that they're going to lose you for good. They're They're aware that this person is coming in. And they're aware that once this person comes in, it's it's likely that they're not going to have another chance with you at that point. So they're kind of torn between their ego, you know, wanting to, wanting to, you know, be careful like what they say, wanting to only say certain things, not wanting to give too much, wanting to breadcrumb. And, you know, this realization that, hey, if I do that, if I take too long, if I keep staying in this energy of strategizing and planning and procrastinating, I'm going to miss that boat. And he or she is going to be with somebody else, somebody who's already evolved. 
yeah, Ten of Swords, a painful ending. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, because they move too slowly. They know that they move too slowly. They took you for granted too much. They move too slow. They were on the fence about you. They were on the fence about this connection. They, I feel like this person has a lot of pride. So it's like this person strategizes. This person, it's like they, they really get in their head and they try to, like you won't really see this person just express genuine emotion. Like you won't see this person really get out of character very often. Like this isn't, this is like the type of person that plans their conversations. Like they're not, you're not going to have a conversation with them and you guys just get drunk and they just like spill it all out. And they're like, oh, I've always loved you. Or, you know, I, I feel this way. I want to open up about my feelings. This is more the kind of person where they're going to strategize. They're going to think they're going to plan out their conversations. If they're sending you a message, it's not impulsive. Like they're controlling themselves. Like if they send you a message, it's like they've thought about it. They thought about how they want to word things. They thought about what they want to say, how they want to say it, how they're going to get the control back in this relationship. Like they, they plan things out. It's almost kind of sneaky. It's like they just strategize. Um, and they understand too that if they, if, you know, because Knight of Pentacles is loyal and stable, but they take a long time to get where they're going. And they understand like them taking so long, them being on the fence, then it's like you're feeling this person's energy or like I, you're like, I know that, you know, they want to reach out. I know that they miss me. I know that I miss them. Like, I don't like I don't understand why are they not reaching out? And it's because it's they're strategizing because they're trying to plan it. They're trying to they're they're trying to make sure it just pride. They're trying to make sure they're not embarrassed. They're trying to make sure that they say the right thing. They're trying to maybe do some research on you and, and studying and seeing what you're up to, seeing who you're with. It's like they're they're putting a lot of effort and energy into this message, into, you know, wording it perfectly. And that's not what you're looking for. You're not looking for perfect. You're you're looking for genuine, for real, for authentic. Like honestly, I think if this person were to drunk message you and be a complete mess and be like, I love you, like I've always loved you, you would be way more turned on by that energy, by that authenticity, that vulnerability that would turn you on so much more than this energy of strategizing and trying to word things perfectly and all of that. Because there's going to be a block there. They're not, they're, they, they're taking too long. They know they're taking too long. The fool. You have a new start, but it's, it's going to be up in the air, whether it's with this person or somebody new. There's choices. You're the one that has the choices. They're aware of this person, too. They know someone's in your energy field. They can feel it. They might even think you're already with them. Even if you're not already with them, like you're probably not, but you're probably like feeling them and you know you're going to meet someone new soon, especially if this person doesn't want to, you know, shape up and treat you right. They know the universe is bringing you somebody new. They can, they know that. They, they know that. They know this boat is starting to sail away, you know. Tell me about what I was feeling though, because I was feeling this person's energy I got emotional and I could feel like it was like for the collective it's like they're you, you guys are like telepathically feeling each other's energy tell me about that They don't want you. They don't, they don't, they don't like, they don't like you knowing when they're crying. They don't like it. You, you know, you, sometimes you can feel it, you, you know, but they don't like it that you know. <laughs> Information came to this, this King of Swords, either in the physical or he was, he might have channeled it or dreamed it. He might have actually had a dream that he saw you with somebody else. Um, or someone might have told him like, oh, she's going out and dating people or like she's, there's something like, or he or she is doing that. Like there's some kind of information that was presented to them where he knows there's competition for his wish fulfillment. He knows that you're, he or she knows that you're highly desirable. 
that you are every, it's like you're every man or every woman's fantasy. Like you're, or I don't want to say fantasy, but it's like nine of cups is like wish fulfillment, like a dream come true. Like you're, you're the entire package and this person's aware of it. And this person's worried because they know other people are going to be aware of that too. You know, it's like you're in this glow up energy and this person's like, damn, I don't want to, I don't want anybody else. It's like you have this light about you and this person's like trying to contain this light. Like, I don't want anybody else seeing this light. I don't want anybody else being attracted to this. This is mine. Tell me more about the telepathic connection, though. Tell me more about the, the telepathy that's going on here. Six of Wands, the Moon, Queen of Cups, the Magician. The Ace of Swords. Queen of Swords. Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Judgment. You're juggling something. You're juggling between this past person and this new person. I actually feel like... I feel like you guys do, for, with this past person, I really feel like you do have a, um, even if you haven't met the new person yet, it's almost like you're, you're juggling, like, do I really stay in this energy or do I manifest new? You know what I mean? But I feel like behind the scenes, you are the queen of cups. Like you do still have a lot of love for this person from the past. There is still a very deep emotional bond there between the two of you, um, but you're still focused on, if you're this queen of cups, you're still male or female, whoever, you know, wh whatever gender you are, you're still focused on victory, on success, on living your best life, on the magician, on, you know, making the world your oyster, on doing whatever goals, maybe some of you are going to school or you're pursuing, you know, career or um, hobbies, art, music, uh, creative pursuits, uh just any kind of goals. It's like you're really focused on yourself right now. You're focused on manifesting whatever you want to manifest, be it new people, new situations, a uh, new home, new car for some of you. It's like you're really just focused on yourself and on your goals and on not letting the world pass you by and not letting life pass you by. It's like you want to go out and have fun. You want to do things. You want to be around you know, you want to be around people that love you and support you and that are going to go do things with you and have fun with you and like people that are going to be, you know, really consistent with you in your life. Um, what's going on behind the scenes, though, is you're still the queen of cups. That's what's hidden here is that you're you're successful and you're going towards success. You're really getting into the state of alignment of um, spiritual growth right now and just manifesting the life that you want. So it's a good energy. What's hidden though, underneath all that energy is that you're still the queen of cups, that you are still, you do still love this past person. You are still emotional for this past person. And I really feel like you guys are telepathically connect. Like you, you guys are still telepathically connected, but I feel like, I feel like it's like different. It's like when you do cry over this person, like if you do cry over them, it's kind of like, like, I feel like you guys, like, maybe even, like, recently or something, like, you guys cried at, like, the same time. Like, they picked up on your sadness and they started crying or vice versa. Like, you picked up, like, something was making them sad and you felt it and you started crying too. Like, you guys were, like, physically, if, even if you're, like, not in the same house or whatever, like, in different locations, telepathically, like, you felt each other's energy and you guys were both crying at the same time. I feel like the difference, though, is when this Queen of Cups cries, she's like, she, you know, when you when you really love someone, like, you don't stop loving them, even when they, they don't treat you well, like, even if they, you know, break your heart and they betray you and they show you that they're not really going to change, that they're not, you know, if they show you that you don't matter to them, that they're not going to change, that it's just going to be the same shit with them again and again, it's like your heart still loves them deep down. But like your mind kind of comes into play though, when you're, where you're like, okay, this isn't like, this person is just going to keep hurting me. This person is just going to keep taking me for granted. This person's never going to appreciate me. They're never, you know, like you're in that mentality, like they're never going to appreciate me. They're never going to really 
fully love me back. They're never going to be vulnerable with me. They're never going to travel with me and, ex you know, experience life with me. They're never, they're never going to step up for me. Like you don't believe in this person or trust them anymore. Even if your heart still loves them, you don't, you don't trust them and you, you don't feel like, you know, you, you don't feel like you matter that much to them either. And let's see what I'm getting here with this. So it's like, yeah, like you're, you're feeling all those emotions, but it's, it's like you're, even when you cry, you're like, okay, like, yeah, I'm sad. I still love this person, but you know, they're, they're, they're not going to step up for me. And I know that they're not going to stop hurting me. And I know that like logically, I like you're using logic now. You're like, I know they're not going to stop hurting me. I know they're not going to change. I know they're not going to suddenly express love. Like, I know that it's not in them to do that. They've shown me that again and again, it's just going to be the same shit with them. So it's like, even if you're feeling the pain and the love, the love you're not really um, expressing that outwardly. You're just kind of keeping it to yourself and just kind of processing it and kind of reminding yourself that, you know, if they wanted you, they would have stepped up. They would have fought for you. They would have come forward. They would have done a lot more. Like if somebody really loves you, they're not going to put themselves in a position to lose you. If somebody really loves you, they're going to want to message you every day. They're going to want to hear your voice on a regular basis. They're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to travel with you. They're going to want to live life with you. They're going to want to see you on a regular basis. They're not going to have this like, oh, I'll, I'll take it or leave it kind of energy. I'll come around when I come around. That's that's someone that's just using you because they're bored and lonely, you know? In my opinion, you know, there's exceptions, but for the most part, part yeah, that's usually what it is. So it's like you're feeling this pain, um, but like outwardly, it's like you're, you are pursuing your goals too, even if you're feeling that. But I feel like they're, let's see here. So I feel like, I feel like you guys are picking up on each other's energy. I feel like part of why you're not letting the pain get the best of you is for one thing, you want to live your best life. You don't want to let life pass you by. You don't want to give any more of yourself to this situation where you're not getting anything in return, where it's it's one-sided. You don't want to drain yourself like that anymore. You know what I mean? Like you want mutual love, mutual support. Um, somebody that's going to step up, somebody that's going to be a protector and a provider type, somebody that's just going to, you know, be there for you and with you and, and just think the world of you. You know, you want somebody that recognizes your full worth, somebody that doesn't want other people, somebody that really just wants you, you know, and that's what you're manifesting. And this person, it's like they don't, they can feel that you're manifesting that new person that's going to match you, that's going to think the world of you, that's going to just almost have you on this pedestal and just love the shit out of you. They can feel you manifesting that with the magician. They feel that and they don't like that. And they don't want, um, it's almost like they don't want to have to be that for you. They don't want to have to step up and be that, but they don't want you to have that with somebody else either. It's, it's very selfish energy. You know, don't make excuses for this person either. If you do feel their pain and you guys are both missing each other at the same time, you know, you can feel that pain, but you can still remind yourself of how they treated you and how they didn't appreciate you. You know, find that, just find a logical emotional ba balance here. You know what I mean? Because like I said, someone that really loves you, they're going to fight for you. They're going to step up. That's what you need. Um, and regardless of what they feel, whether they love you or not, you just, in general, you just, you want somebody that's going to think highly of you, that's going to appreciate you, that's going to support you, that's going to be there uh, consistently, you know? Um, okay, let's wrap this up. Tell me more about this. Yeah, I feel, I feel like. I feel like you guys like energetically pull on each other sometimes. You have a very strong like emotional bond here, like telepathic bond. Hmm. I almost feel like this person is getting really upset and sad because they know that it's almost like they're letting you go in a way though like not fully letting you go but they're if they're not stepping you up I, I if they're not stepping up I kind of see that as letting you go in a way you know what I mean 
But it's almost like I feel like since they're feeling this new person's energy that's about to come in, they're getting really upset and sad, but they're not really doing anything about it. So that's kind of on them for not, you know what I mean? But um, it's almost like then you feel that pain. You feel them being upset about this and then you feel their pain and you're telepathically connecting and you get sad yourself too. It's like, because I keep hearing like you guys are like crying at the same time. Like you guys are both feeling... Um, there's just like a strong telepathic connection here where it's like you guys are both getting emotional at the same time. Tell me more about that. Let's wrap this up. Tell me more about that. They feel trapped by bad karma right now. Some of them see you as like the sun. They see you as an escape from that bad karma. They feel trapped by, like, they feel like it is their karma. You know what I mean? Like, they feel trapped by it. Page of Cups. I think they're afraid, like, I'm almost getting nausea for some of them, where they're, like, afraid that they're going to have to see you with this person or that they're going to have to... I think they'll feel it. I don't think you're going to show it physically necessarily if you if you do when you do manifest this person, but I think they're going to like feel it when you meet them. Like the day that you meet them or something like they're going to I don't know, like they're going to they're they're feeling this person's energy coming in and they know they can't stop it. They know it's karma. They know that they can't It's like they want to block you. They don't want to they don't want to commit to you, but they don't want anybody else to commit to you either. You know what I mean? Like they want to block this from you, but they know that they can't. And they know that even trying to block it would create bad karma, especially because they have free will, because it's like they could step up and commit. They could step up and make the effort and put themselves out there and take a leap of faith. But so far, they're choosing not to do that. So what do they expect? They expect you to just be alone while they continue that same bullshit. No, you're not going to be alone anymore. If they're not stepping up, you're going to be with somebody new who's going to give you everything that they were not willing to give you. And they know that. They know you have a love offer coming in. Yeah, some of them are like afraid of seeing it. They're like, oh my God, like I don't want to know. I don't want to see it. And it's almost like their spirit guides are telling them. I feel like that's part of their bad karma almost for like doing this to you. I feel like it's also the divine kind of pushing them like, like, hey, you really only have one more chance. Like this isn't, we're not playing. Like it's not... It's not like before where maybe you guys had like an on and off again thing where it's like, you know, oh, this is the last chance. This is the last chance. But they always had another chance. This time it's really like this King of Pentacles comes in. You're not you're not going to be when you fall in love with this new person. You're not going to be looking back, honestly. You're going to because you're going to be like, why would I want to like, why? Why? Why would I want to give up someone who actually wants me, who actually like, you know, is emotionally available physically affectionate like all about me like why would I give that up I'm not going to risk losing that you know what I mean um and so it's almost like they're bad karma for one thing where they're they're having to feel it like they're having dreams about it or they're having like they're psychically picking up on this new person coming in um and again it's also their spirit guides too saying hey this is like this is actually the last chance like we're not we're not joking around like when this new person comes in like that's it. <laughs> I mean, when, when you fall in love with this new person, at least like once, once that's like solidified, like a stable relationship, it's, it's, there's, there's probably no going back from there, honestly. Let's wrap this up though. But yeah, I just feel like you guys are telepathically like feeling each other's pain at the same time. Like I just hear like you, you know, when, when you're crying, they're crying sometimes and vice versa. Like you're both you might just feel it out of nowhere where you're just minding your own business and you just feel like a sadness all of a sudden and you can tell it's not coming from you. You're like, oh, this is like coming from this person. Mm -hmm. And then you start missing them too and thinking about them. But, you know, the difference is it's like you treated them pretty well and, you know, you're you're reminding yourself of no matter how sad you feel, no matter how much you miss them, you're reminding yourself of how they treated you. It's like this person's very lonely right now and they're looking at this. They know they have a choice to make here. Yeah.
Yeah, because they know that you're, you're single, you're waiting for your ships to sail in, you have a new perspective, you're abundant, you're standing your ground, you're more powerful than before. They're realizing how confident you are too. We got that reading recently, like what was that, like a week or so ago where it was like they really took you for granted. They didn't realize how confident you are. They're afraid of a tower. They're afraid that they're afraid that you're going to reject an offer. Yeah, they're like it could be the five of cups or the ten of cups. They're like, damn, like they don't they don't know the uncertainty is scaring the shit out of them. Honestly, there's so much uncertainty. I feel like that's part of the karmic lesson though for them is that they have to take a leap of faith because they didn't take that leap of faith even when they had the certainty. Even when you were a sure thing for them, when they had you, like you weren't going anywhere, you were like a ride or die kind of energy, they still didn't take that leap of faith. So now it's like, if they want this, they have to take a leap of faith when there's complete uncertainty, when you're, they don't know how you feel anymore. They don't know where they stand with you anymore. They don't, they don't know if you're with somebody new or not yet. You know, that's, that's their karmic lesson. It's like, they really have to, they're going to have to take an actual leap of faith. Now before it was, it wasn't really a leap of faith in the past if they knew they had you. But now that you, it's like, you still have love for them, but you don't believe in them. You don't. You, you, it's like you love them deep down, but you have conflicting energies in you about them or conflicting views about them where you're like, I love them. Like we have this deep connection. Like I thought this was my forever person, but I don't know anymore if they are because they've treated me like crap. They haven't stepped up. Like this isn't like, you know, I, I like people that are emotionally available to me. That's, that's what turns me on. Like, so I don't, it, it's like you're conflicted now, you know? So now it actually is a leap of faith. Like that they would have to take basically and they know that and it, it's like they're they're trying to find certainty and they're not going to find it in fact the more they try to find certainty the less certainty they're going to find like um it's like it's almost like these these karmic energies like a karmic lesson like they're struggling with their spirit guides right now where it's like they're trying to keep tabs on you they're trying to find the information like they're trying to do some digging um, like, you know, where is she? Who is she with? What, what's she doing? How does she feel about me? Like, like maybe even going to tarot readers, like, like what's going on with this? Like how, like what, what's happening? And the more they try to do that, the more they're going to confuse themselves, the more they're going to get like conflicting information or they're going to get false information. Like it's going to be all over the place. And that's part of this karmic lesson, this karmic test for them is like, they, they don't get that certainty because they had that, they had that chance to have you they had that certainty with you and they still didn't take that leap of faith. So they don't, they don't get to have that certainty again. You know what I mean? Like now everything's up in the air. It's uncertain. Um, like could go either way kind of energy. And it's like, that's, you know, now it really is an actual leap of faith that they would have to take. And I feel like for you too, it's like, you're so, even if you love them, you're so turned off by the emotional unavailability that it's almost like part of you really is just moving on from them because you're like, I don't like you, you can't see them as like a real man anymore. You're like, I, I don't like, I want to see you as a real man, but I don't know how to, because I, I, you know, it's like, I like men that, you know, message me every day and spoil me with affection and attention and like go places with me and like want to be around me regularly. Like, I don't, I don't like men that are in this energy of, you know, not knowing my worth. Like it's, it's unattractive when somebody doesn't know your worth, when they don't know what's right in front of them, it's very unattractive. And so I feel like even if you love them deep down, some part of you is really turned off and kind of just moving on. Um, and they would really have to step up. That's that's the thing. They would have to take this major leap of faith when it's uncertain. Because I think that's the only way that you would give this another chance. You know what I mean? Like, like if, they, if they're coming back to you when they know it's for sure, then that's just, there's no risk there. You know what I mean? There's not, they're not proving anything. If they know it's a sure thing and they message you, that's not proving shit to you. You know what I mean? But if they're coming back when like, you know, they can feel you moving on and like maybe there's somebody new then like that actually is a risk. They actually are putting themselves out there for you. And so I think that might you might actually be open to giving this a second chance if they were to take that leap of faith. But. um, But, yeah, I really feel like more and more every day you're just kind of like seeing this differently where you're like, I don't like you're losing like you've already lost faith in them but I almost feel like your perspective is shifting more in that direction every day where you're like okay this is 
this really isn't like you're processing it. You're you're mourning it. You're processing it. You're not you're not holding on to the pain and holding on to them like you used to. And you're you're staying strong and you're not you're you're not going to let yourself go back to a phase of just being depressed over them all the time or missing them all the time and and just not living your life. Like you're not going to allow that. Especially because I think also because you know that they want that. That's another part of like what makes you not stay in that energy is like you you kind of when you do get sad, you're like, wait a minute, they would want that though. They would want me to be sad. They would want me to be in this low energy because then they know they have control over me. And then it's like that that kind of encourages you to take your power back. You're like, no, like fuck that. You're not gonna have that kind of control over me. You're not gonna have control when you're not doing shit. I don't think so. But yeah, it's like it's like they're just they're trying to they're trying to find loopholes and they're not gonna find them. They're not they're not gonna find a loophole. They're not gonna find the answers that they're seeking. That's that's part of um this person's very impressionable too. They really care a lot about what other people think and other people's opinions. And so that's part of it too, is taking that blind leap of faith when they don't have any answers, just exposed, vulnerable like that. That's like you know, that, that's part of that, that karmic cycle that they can end right now if they choose to. But, but yeah, they're panicking a little bit. They're pretty upset because they know that, um, I mean, some of you are already done, honestly, but I think others of you are still in that energy where you're like manifesting somebody new where you're not, you know, like I said, you're on the fence, like you love this person, but you don't believe in them anymore. And you're moving past it more and more each day. Even if you feel pain, you're still just, you know, mourning in and clearing that energy out and not letting yourself, yourself stay, stay stuck in that energy. And they know that they've turned you off. They know that they, they know that they've turned you off a lot. They know that they don't have you the way that they used to. They know that there's only a small part of you that they still have. But, um, yeah, some of them are going to take that leap. They're actually, some of them are going to take that leap and you might actually have this new beginning. For others, they're not going to take that leap. They're going to choose to repeat the karmic cycles, karmic processes, and the universe is going to bring you somebody new. As I almost feel like your spirit guides are like kind of working with them right now. Like they're kind of, it's almost like the universe is like on the fence about bringing you this new person like they're kind of giving this person like how do I explain it it's almost like your person like their spirit is like begging your spirit guides to they might not be consciously doing it but it's like their spirit is like begging their spirit begging your spirit guides not to bring this new person in for you yet and so your spirit guides are kind of like okay if you don't want this new person you know to come in and be with them are you going to give them everything this new person would give them? Are you going to be emotionally available for them like that? Are you going to support them and love them at their low points like that? Are you going to give them all that energy they would get from this new person? And their spirit is saying, yes, 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 I promise I will. I promise I will. Like I'm working on it. And then it's like their, their soul can't get their conscious mind to like take the action. Like their higher self is coming through and trying to push them to take the leave of faith and the message and they're not doing it. They're being stubborn. They're trying to, they feel the push. They feel that their spirit guides and their higher self is pushing them to message you. But they're like, they're like procrastinating. They're buying themselves time. They're like, wait a minute. I need to do more digging. I need to do more research. I need to make sure this message is perfect there. It's like perfectionism is a form of self-sabotage. They're, they're trying to just stall. They're trying to, they don't want to have to make these big changes. And so, and then they're, then your spirit guides are like, okay, you know, obviously you're not going to do it. I'm going to, we're going to bring someone new in. And then their higher self goes back and says, wait, 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 just give me a little bit more time. I'm, I'm working with my conscious self. I'm going to get my conscious self to send the message. Just, just wait, just wait, just wait. Um, it's like this back and forth energy. And I think eventually your spirit guides are going to be like, no, I'm sorry. Like, like I, you know, no, no, I don't care how much your spirit is begging. If your conscious mind isn't in alignment with your spirit, with your higher self, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what your spirit wants. If you're not, if you're consciously not on board with that, if you're consciously not going to do it, because I'm getting, I'm, I'm not getting like, I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like they have long left. I really feel like it's, 
I, I'm I'm curious to hear from you guys. Have you met the new person yet? Because I almost feel like it it doesn't feel like one of those far away things. This feels like for a lot of you, like within the, like the next month, I would say, or two months at most. But for some of you, it's like like a week, two weeks. It's like it's soon. Like you could watch this reading and like tomorrow you just you bump into somebody and it's just like that. Like they're this back and forth between their, you know, their spirit guides and them. It's not. They're not going to keep doing it. And I feel like if you actually give your spirit guides like the okay, if you're like, you know what, I completely let go of this old person, like I want the new person, I feel like they that might also bring the new person in. But for some of you, I think you're more like neutral where you're like, you're kind of in this energy where you're like, well, I'm open to this past person, I do still love them, but I'm only open if they're going to step up and really treat me well. And I don't really believe that they can do that. I've never seen them do anything like that. So it's hard for me to really believe that could ever happen. But yeah, if they, I mean, if they really come forward and they really, you know, tell me how they feel and they commit and they, they make this effort and put me in their life, then yeah, I'm, I'm on board with that. Um, or I'm also on board with this new person. If they want to give me all that energy, the past person didn't give me, you know, some of you are like neutral. You're like, I'm just open either way. Um, which is, again, the only reason that this this person even has this little tiny window left to even come through to you. Um, but yeah, for some of you, it's like if you talk to your spirit guides and you're like, you know what, I'm actually completely done with this old person. I don't, I, I, I'm not neutral anymore. I'm just done. Then, then the new person might come in sooner. But, um, but yeah, it's like one final, one final attempt that your spirit guides are making with this past person. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. I hope this helped you guys.